Um, uh, we get to watch Yosh. Um, <laughs> I've been told that this is the less exciting compared to the turnout game, but turnout games are always the most exciting, so that's not actually saying anything. Uh, and it's going to be against Paratroopa, who uh, definitely a uh, respected player in the community. Uh, I don't remember. Do you know which uh, division they were in in SCL? Uh, I can find out. And yeah, you, you go do that while me and Kleto's talk about. Well, it's going to be the same map setup, yeah, right? Yeah, so let's, yeah, let's go for let's go go over the draft again. It's uh, the same thing. We're going to get yep. back to library and then courtyard, bar room, yep. high rise, modern terrace. Yep. Perfect. It looks like uh, it looks like paratrooper was in copper in SCL six. Mm. Um, yeah, that's what I was gonna say if I made it up. So yeah, uh, were they uh, <laughs> successful or middle pack? Uh, you know, I am not sure. <laughs> I thought you were pulling it up on the uh the channel that had the results too. It's no worries. Paratroop is a good player. Uh, yeah, gonna, it... gonna be the soft favorite in this. Uh, in part because Yosh is uh got no confidence. Really, um, we're all supporting Yosh to get a couple wins under their belt to really uh, propel them into the top tier of competitive spy party <laughs> and it may as well be this set i see no reason why yosh can't uh win this um no, no i agree i mean i think i think yosh um probably you know just just has so much talent in there and and just waiting to bust it out i'm sure of it um you know both of these players have been playing the game for a long time and so you know let's see where this set has them land yeah, when you say a long time, I mean, Spy Party is an old game at this point, but uh, we've all been around here. We've all been around the block. I'm looking at Paratroopa as Duke on Library. Does that match you mm -hmm. guys? Yep, that does that's, indeed. Uh, that's what I got. Count it down when you're ready. And I see an ambassador nearby with his booty ready to be touched in three, two, one, playing it. Oh, and it does not happen. Yeah, we just simply don't take... We don't take control. Uh, <laughs> we do take control there, but as soon as we take control, we get bullied. Um, yeah. Some sad really, bounces, uh, I do suggest uh, to players who are just looking to eke a few more wins, uh, just be ready to immediately do something as uh. Uh, the game starts, uh, because you will see opportunities like that, where that bug is totally free. They have so much they have to be watching on library to even find the ambassador, not to mention, like, see the statues and whatnot find toby also yeah we try to chase our st to bookshelf and we don't quite get it which is very sad um you know it, it can be tough on uh on a return you have a lot more time to uh to chase to the bookshelf because you know on average you should get three cycles but but we don't quite get it we will get a fingerprint though yeah i think this is a formally illegal uh, fingerprint but most fingerprints done by spies are anyways so mm -hmm. uh it's not a huge problem and we did go for the immediate put down uh the big value of the immediate put down is simply you might not be seen with the the briefcase if you walk it across map uh, but there is also additional value that you're not wasting 15 20 seconds of your time uh, we're instead just in the conversation here ready for a contact instead of Literally, ambassadors as far away right now as they possibly could be if we were trying to return. Yeah, so I think I think there's a lot of potential advantages if you if you hope that the sniper doesn't realize that your your return was a little illegal. Some low lights coming off from Yash, uh, but the DA does split, which is always nice. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, us splitting would have looked more suspicious potentially if the DA hadn't split before us. But with the DA splitting before us, it just gets a bit more confusing for the sniper to figure out. When they can only see one third of the party, anyways. Okay. Looks like we're lining up this flirt. We see that uh, Ambassador has a green book, so there will be uh, a print it green later once he gets around to returning. Oh my gosh. Oh no, we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, we got a white flirt. That's good. Yeah, uh, I think green flirts are just mechanically a little bit quicker um, to execute, just game yep. wise. Mm -hmm. um, so that we did it with the white flirt, that might have been like frame perfect or frame imperfect yeah <laughs> very scary looks like we're gonna go ahead and go for this uh print you have to stand here like a chump though and if ambassador does another animation oh it's so ugly but okay. paratrooper has timed it okay enough and has now gotten the uh the book it's not a pretty thing to do but it's a good play and it's not something that the sniper is going to be watching for very often because like it's such a minor thing 
Yeah, do, I think if you... they do catch you, though, you're dead. Yeah, I think you can err on the side of uh, going a little bit later, like like uh, after the first cycle, if if you're arriving. Um, you know, during the second cycle, you're probably okay. But love the stop talk, by the way. Uh, Liz is just chilling over, making sure the ambassador is safe. Uh, and there's no reason why, when we stuffed ourselves in this conversation, we also have to be seen talking. This is the red test part of this creepy game. The laser is not over here, though. La the problem is the tray is still flashing. We are going to gulp this drink, try and get rid of the evidence, so we don't get caught red-handed. I think this we got away with it. Definitely been seen. Uh, I would suggest at least a few lowlights, potentially, from Yosh, because uh, this has been dropped. We're just not covering Toby during this red test purloin. Oh, goodness. This conversation's so full, too. Like, uh, a yeah, lot of a stuff rough like <laughs> to, uh... A rough, a rough conversation to miss a purloin. Uh, this is tough. Para just needs to find one more mission. Uh, not a highlight. Ooh, and actually, uh, center inspector from that conversation, I think, is shot. Yeah, I think the oh, shot's looks justified. Like yeah. The shot's justified, right? You have someone who's high lit. Uh, Banana Bread's been said. Purloin's gone. Uh, you're tired of the shenanigans. Uh, really, <laughs> um, there's a few minor things you could catch. You could catch the flirts of the fingerprints. But it really, this game has come down to the quality of the Banana Bread. It was a really good Banana Bread. And the purloin just being missed entirely. Yeah. Uh, I think what's very interesting, I, I was watching on Yashkam, um, is that actually we briefly uh, swung back while the purloin was happening, and I think that the list was, was flashed on, and then we pan off. <laughs> it is a thing that happens with uh, red test purloins. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, the other thing that happens is the fade gets seen but it looks like a green fade or a white fade to the sniper. Um, and they make a judgment on that before seeing the list now returning. Um, reminder, you always have 10 seconds, right? You can you can spend another two seconds just confirming in your mind the decisions that you're making, uh, unless you're playing against small one who would just dance on you and you have to shoot him immediately. But uh, beyond like uh, edge cases or shark, uh, you you have a moment to to make these considerations. Uh, in that sense, I also would have liked if the shot on Disney was just a bit later. Just if another banana bread goes off, for example, uh, you, you can take an extra five seconds to let him touch the statue. It's fine. Yeah, but in any case, uh, paratrooper will take the first game. Yash uh, gets an opportunity to strike back as wheels. Yeah, he's got a, a a Steam name that I wasn't expecting. Uh, it's definitely not Yash slash Steam. But uh, <laughs> he's going to be playing Wheels on Library. He's an interesting choice in 3, 2, 1, Planet. Now, one thing I think that's kind of interesting about Wheels on Library um, is just that I, I think Wheels is a, a pretty good like book carrying yeah. um, you know, kind of appearance because cause he just kind of like holds it against against the... You know his his side rails um, just feels a bit more subtle than other folks. Yeah, uh, really. I mean, the big cost for wheels raise. You had the same cost of uh, not being good at swapping statues, which is definitely a a boon on library. And wheels bug is generally panned by the community uh, because it's just a bit obvious when he lifts it off his <laughs> beak of the devil. And that's actually really good. It was a really good bug. Yeah, uh, thankfully the... Uh, it wasn't because of the bug, it was because the laser was there for it. Uh, we could definitely pick up some heat for that, but we didn't take a highlight. Yeah, I think I think Tex being right next to Amba and then <laughs> both being... Oh, oh no. No, oh, no. 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 <laughs> no. No. We green tested that, by the way. It was free. Uh, that laser uh, had five seconds. There is a... <sighs> genuine consideration as soon as you acknowledge that you've done a red test to just roll away uh, you'll get a, a different miserable animation um, but yeah on library uh, the sniper uh, is going to rotate over and see that even if not anything else is going on this side of the party it's actually a really well timed microfilm otherwise yeah what a tragedy after such a fun bug too um, but in any case para will be up to an O.
Spy Party is a game of frames. It's just unfortunate when the frame is a red test. <laughs> um, with microfilm, though, the white test and red or green test are so different in their quality, too, um, that if it is on the very edge of the action bar, you still have a large incentive to go for the green, uh, which can result in more red tests than you'd possibly like compared to like something like an inspect where if the green test is Doesn't on the matter. very edge. Just take the yeah. white test and don't red yeah. test it. Um, <laughs> the, it's a balancing act, right? But Paratroopa takes the lead. Um, I know Yosh uh, wouldn't have necessarily expected that, but for the rest of us, it was Library. Uh, that the uh, spy win uh, was achieved is a big deal. And then we move on to Courtyard in 3, 2, 1, playing it. Drink in hand, no more shenanigans. Uh, we could do a time at though. We are going to be at the windows. Yeah. I do highly suggest them. There are a few people at windows. There's there's uh, buns on the other side, but we decide against it. We're just going to go for a nice flirt here. Yeah. So I mean, there's a couple of things like early time ads oh. that make some maps better than others. Uh, courtyard. If you have like the way. ambassador and Toby are just on the other side of the statue, there's a good like four or five seconds where this sniper has to find. Their statues, Ambassador and Toby, really quickly. Um, time add's still going to be the fourth thing, and you can do it from literally anywhere. Yeah, and I think with with courtyard, there's you know a good amount of occlusion too. So I think, especially good on courtyard, and and because basically everywhere you're pretty close to a window, um, so it's harder to credit people. Um, uh, yeah. Whereas on on other venues, you know, you really can low light. Lots and lots of characters who are nowhere yeah. near windows if it's caught. See, uh, see oh. high rise where everything's also front facing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Any time ad that you're just staring the la uh, laser in the face is a uh, questionable time ad, but also my favorite time ads because it's so funny. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we got 59%. Uh, we got a short or distance uh, white and a distance green. Uh, yeah. 59% is an awkward percent where we definitely want to go for uh, the three flirt instead of the four flirt. I'm mm -hmm. not sure Paratrooper's green rate is going to be matching Doppler's. Uh, we are getting a fingerprint from this? It was on the statue, yes? Yep, yep, yeah. yeah. So we got a, got a fingerprintable statue. So that actually puts us in a pretty interesting spot. We can finish with the second print and hopefully hopefully not notice the... Um, you know, Amba <laughs> had been at that statue during our BB. Cool um, here. Ooh, yeah, okay. It's fine. Um, we do talk pretty early. Hopefully, hopefully not noticed. I think that paratroopers. That um, laser is lingering. Yeah, I think paratroopers' contact towards the beginning of the game was a very interesting one. The conversation we were in with the real DA was very full, um, and so because oftentimes, right, taking an early BB can be very risky if if, uh, if it happens that your conversation is going with real. But I think it had been um, kind of less risky and, and a pretty interesting choice, and, and one that I think was good. I liked it. Um, uh, Will's leaving here was a good thing, by the way, because he wasn't close enough to kick out the ambassador. Uh, so it gave someone the potential to uh, kick out the ambassador. Not that it actually happened. This has a fingerprint on it. We are set. Now it's on Yosh. Seven seconds on the clock. You have to shoot for double fingerprint, double inspect. And the laser is watching for a swap, which is never going to happen. Uh, Paratrooper does pull off now a 3-0 lead uh, with some... Good party sense, just knowing where the fingerprints were, and I think that last fingerprint had been there for a while because we were chilling in the conversation with the ambassador for yeah. quite a long time. Yeah, I think I think I think Yosh didn't like us, but um, unfortunately, one or uh, you know the combination of the prints wasn't uh, wasn't noticed. So nice game from Terra. Yeah, it is uh, nice when you can just find two green like. Uh, fresh prints. There wasn't any uh, difficult prints that had to be uh, done, but then as a sniper you just feel bad, right? Because those are definitely prints that you should be catching. If you're dropping mm -hmm. difficult prints, it's less feel bad. It's just the sniper the spy is playing even better. Uh, but finding prints, it's something that we didn't see in our last set, and I think it's uh, showing the class of Paratroopa, just knowing where the ambassador has been, which can be a bit confusing on Courtyard. Uh, not getting, as a spy, just not getting confused about which side of the statue is which. Yeah, and it can be very challenging, but also also a great way to, um, you know, both <laughs> both for the sniper and spy to sort of be, 
having to really push push their brains to remember because it could be such a tempting way to finish that can seem sort of not overly suspicious if a uh, prince forgotten right because you're like oh yeah already got already got inspects um but the danger lurks so and now yosh really wants to get a win here uh you can't really afford to go four zero down uh in any format here but especially with uh win at seven yeah best of 12 yep uh so we got devon colic here which is yosh as spy in three two one playing it we're jumping right in and, and actually um we've got the general queen pairing and yeah yeah i was about to <laughs> avoid the highlight and gotten the flirt perfect perfect take kind of a a flirty position next to next to rocker but that's fine yeah. Just avoid her. When it comes to like these AIs, it's something that just is universal among players. Where if you're doing a flirt and you're going a stepping on your seduction target's feet, sure. I get it. <laughs> if uh, you're stepping on AI's feet and there's other space in the conversation, <laughs> just don't go into that conversation. Uh, there's no point in getting credited for a flirt with someone that you're not flirting with. Yeah, ooh, but speaking of flirt, Queen um, gets right up next to us. That's so nice this of her. Is, this is the power of the general Queen uh, flirt pairing, is we obviously want to love Queen uh, and have done so at 68% amount of love, um, but Queen also loves general. This is just a known fact. Uh, for anybody who uh, isn't familiar, no, the AI don't have a particular In the person red. they'd like to stand next to. But we do like to uh not yet ship. anyway. Not yeah, yet. Yeah, tra traits are coming soon. Damn. Uh we do uh, like to ship our uh our two older members. <laughs> Good contact so, by the way. I think almost everybody yeah. was in conversation for that one. It was a very nice contact, so we'll start working on our inspects, it will definitely be a two cycle. Yep, yeah, Wheels has thankfully put his statue down, uh giving us time to uh, do it without the statue being blocked by his uh, presence at it. And unfortunately, we've taken the highlight here before doing the hardtail. This is really the courtyard problem is you need to do inspects, but you don't want to do them late. But you also want to do your inspects after you've already done a hardtail. If you're not getting something like a chaos mission, that's actually a really hard question to uh, try and answer. That was yeah. a very bug path, but the armor is well hidden. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say, this is such a tempting bug, and and there it was. And I think, although the path can definitely be credited, it, it looked pretty good. So, um, Paratroopa is very much considered a behavioral player. I think there's incentive to potentially go for a far flirt here and try and uh, avoid having to do a close white. Um, we might get shot for this. We are on camera, but I think, Yosh, just the quality of the bug and not picking up any... Uh, true suspicion, especially with the first flirt uh, at statues, has gotten away with it. I don't think it was particularly close, or sorry, particularly far from being a shot, though. It really felt like Para wanted to take that shot. Yeah, there's Yash. Goodness. What quality. Such a quality player. And uh, and a quality bug at that. So, yeah, I mean, if, the, if the ambassador gives you that situation, I think you're meant to be taking that bug a large proportion of the time. Yeah, um, I it's think obviously I... dependent on your opponent and the game situation. And even in this sort of situation, I wouldn't necessarily take it every time. You just don't want to be a person who just always takes the bug in front of you. Hi, OP. Um, but <laughs> uh, I yeah. think just when you're given situations like that, just acknowledging them and taking them. Uh, this is precisely what I want to see from Yoshi. He needs to do it more because he's still down 3-1 despite this win. Yeah, I think um, I think for Para, just if having taken a um, a different angle might have helped us see the bug better. It's unfortunate when um, you know, when you're looking the the bug arm perpendicular like that. So yeah, it was still it was what he was uh watching for the uh standing bug and yeah with uh, with Alice yeah the, bug. the less wind up you can do in a bug, generally the better the bug is gonna be. Uh, that's very much true on Ballroom too. This is a uh, another good map for bugs, and Paratroopa is pulling out Disney, who's not particularly great at them. In three, <laughs> two, one, playing it. It's not about the quality of the animation; it's how you use it. He's just got big hands, Rush. 
This is very big hands. Big hands. So, a bit of lore. I think Disney got changed uh, to have even bigger hands so people in the trailer could understand what was going on when he did a bug. Um, but it has made his bug worse. Uh, this might not actually be true. Mm. Either. That felt like a flub. That felt like you were trying to go for a flirt and just action priority it. If I'm I mean, honest. I think, I think DA was in when we started. It it's just um, it was white, and then DA. But even split. then, like if you look at the conversations, just there isn't any. It's literally our conversation. Um, it's just, and there, there's the paratrooper head shake. Um, just not incredibly happy about the situation they put themselves in. I would love a banana bread into bug here. Especially given that we've already done the fake. Yeah, we are. We do have this book that we can cook, though. Um, we have been cooking. Yeah, I love the ter term "cooking books" because it's very much implied, like uh, when you're doing uh, cheeky Banana gambling uh, things, uh, <laughs> like illegal money laundering activities. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and cooking books is very much that sort of mood. Uh, but we're really just saying we're serenading the book. We're uh, we're letting it sit in this party for uh, multiple minutes and by that we're really hoping that the sniper has just simply forgotten about where the book came from uh, due to the time just time passing uh, get it out of their short-term memory which if I remember my psych uh, classes is definitely not longer than a minute I want to say it's like 30 to 45 seconds and something that sticks in that like working memory and so if you can hold it for two minutes uh, there's good logic I would highly suggest not taking this flirt. We were just at this bookcase. Uh, Paratrooper <laughs> agrees Ooh. and is doing a different mission. The bug into like just heading straight into like the painting pad next to us, I think would have been a classier play. Um, but with the microfilm already done, if we're not going to get a shot from microfilm, mill statue shouldn't be deadly. Yeah, I agree with you there. I think um, I think if we feel like we got that microfilm clean, and it, it certainly didn't feel like. Um... Yasha's laser was was paying us much attention. Um, makes sense to. What an incredibly lazy space. path. You had everywhere in this conversation to go to, and you just went <laughs> straight in. I love it. Uh, it's going to be a very hard shot. And it doesn't look like it's coming off. Paratroopa has now pulled off, I believe, three spy wins in a row. Yeah, uh, a nice game. I liked it. Um, you know, yeah, I it's... think I think I think taking the books book out early and and just just. Sitting on it for a while can can be can sometimes be pretty strong. So, yeah, this is one of those games that you can plan ahead, right? Like you can say, "I'm gonna play Yosh. The map's already chosen for us, so I know I'm gonna play Ballroom, and I want to do a Chaos book pull and then walk around with the book for a few minutes, um, and then either just finish off with inspects or if I happen to get a bug, I guess that can be my fourth mission." And there's a lot of power in that, especially when the, uh, the the picks and bands are already done for you. It's lovely to be able to say, this is what I'm going to do, and I think it has a decent chance at working. Obviously, uh, you're you're happy with the results here if you're Paratroopa. For sure. Um, but Yash won't go down without a fight, and, uh, and I suppose fighting he, he is with, uh, with Duke now. Yeah, Duke's an interesting character, and we'll talk about it in 3, 2, 1, playing it. Uh, so, an another character just got randomly low-lit there. Uh, they brought get brought back. Um, Ooh, it was Salmon I'm Danger. Bad. But it, yeah, Salmon Danger getting randomly low-lit there. Mm. Almost cover for the time ad. I think if we'd bailed out, uh, it would have been better, but I think this highlight is for the time ad. feels I like Paratrooper so did catch it. But they did also highlight the double agent who was also at Windows, which is a really bad sign that the time ad was caught, uh, because the double agent obviously is not the spy. Yeah, that's uh, pretty worrisome. Um, and we haven't made much use of the extra time yet. We're going to take our first flirt. It's red, though. Uh -oh. Windows, but Yeah, I think if you're Yosh here uh, and you felt the light, for the time ad um you need to make that consideration if you didn't i'm not sure you really have uh great chances if you try okay. and play this game normally you're in trouble 
All right, we had our second chance. We got 30% in our flirt. Um, it seems like it might be a, a good contact. Let me look at the rest of the party. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, the, I mean the big thing is we want to have the other highlight for the time ad also be in conversation, preferably also with the real banana bread. This will not be real for them because the SDA is mucking about somewhere, but not in the conversations that we care about. Uh, this is one of those spots that's really tempting to take an early shot. You just tunnel on someone and they really just feel like a spy. Um, but because we caught the spy so early in the game, no matter how behavioral you are, and Paratrooper is definitely uh, well onto the behavioral spectrum as a player, there's no reason you shouldn't be mission counting here. Uh, you shouldn't be losing to things like fingerprints because you should always have them uh, counted given your uh, very high early suspicion. Yeah, so I think, I think we have... I, I agree with you. We have, you know, we can we can be patient and watch. Um, and Yosh, I think, I, is doing the right thing here. With, even with this timer flirt being really miserable, uh, just getting like 17%, we're not... God, that's really rough. Uh, just getting stuck there in the wall, but uh, we're not adding suspicion to ourselves. We did get caught for the first one, no. and the second one, we're definitely caught for a character, but we're ready for it. I don't think it's a bad idea, honestly. Yeah. Um, when you have this much suspicion, uh, time ads can be one of those things that just they don't watch you for for no, no good reason. Mm -hmm. um, and then the game ends up being four or five minutes long, and they have to really start worrying about people who are actually just completing three or four missions. Yeah, and I think I think you know if if you're in a position where you're worried that you're you're a pretty big suspect, um, if you're gonna be shot and caught, you know, especially for like a green time ad, you're probably a big enough suspect that you're gonna get shot for something else anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, and so you might as well like try to um get get some extra time and play very 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 slow and and hope that that's enough to shake the suspicion. But unfortunately, here with uh the white test and Para very, very suspicious already. Uh, Yash is taken out. Yeah, as long as... Really, the only thing to gain from this, in a learning sense, is make sure you didn't think that you died for the second time ad. No, you died for the first time ad two minutes later. Yeah. Yep. It's, uh, okay, we're on high it's rise. Rough sometimes. Yeah. It's rough for Yosh, Paratrooper. <laughs> These are all such interesting maps because uh, they really have been pushed to be 50-50. So comebacks are definitely available. Um, and they're not anything but stressful maps. Like trying to play three of six on both sides is just a lot of mental strain. Uh, so Paratroopa, who's generally had complaints about losing sets close, uh, is probably still feeling a bit of pressure here despite the score being 5-1. And has to do it on high rise in three, two, one, playing it. Uh, the ambassador was there for bugging, but with the angle that we had and just the general uh, amount of suspicion, I think not taking the bug was very much the right choice. We've, uh, to note, gone with microfilm yeah. as our sixth mission over swap. In theory, someone could put both of them on. There's no restriction on that, uh, but we're we're doing microfilm and. It's still going to be the worst mission of the six. There's a reason it's being forced to be put on. People don't usually choose it. It would yeah. rather typically have Perling, for example. Uh, very sadly, we were just ever so slightly too far away for um, for 49% in our flirt. We got 48%. Um, we are also so slightly too far away to go for an incredibly bad bug. <laughs> Speaking of uh, distances and being... Uh, too far. <laughs> yeah, so this is a good choice by Paratroopa. They're just yeah, they're, where, they're not stepping on anybody's feet. You're not going to get the two flirt. So doing the distance flirt. Uh, if you white test this, you can just go closer on the second. If you uh, green test this as we have, uh, you just need to get 20% more. Uh, it's a bit of calculus to see if you can do it from that spot. But I think moving is always the correct thing to do there anyways. Uh, there's no point in rise standing there for 45 seconds it's not going to get you any less suspicion because that's what spies love to do anyways yeah and i think uh i think it's tough too and especially on um on high rise like like playing to how you suspect your opponent's going to be playing too um the, the on it yeah 
And we know there's another fingerprint, obviously, because the only thing on our camera is the ambassador at the other statue. Uh, the problem is if we're ever going to do inspects, it will not be at that statue. We simply just cannot finish uh, the same statue pad twice. Banana bread. Um, this solves that problem, right? This is a fake yeah. banana bread, unfortunately, because the DA uh, left. Oh, no! That is when, such a tragedy. When they left, by the way, they're still in the conversation. It's just as soon as they... Uh, duck down pick to pick up, up the briefcase uh they are not formally in the conversation uh does this have a fingerprint or did we uh, think this i'm not sure or neither I, yeah uh, it, it is a fingerprint it was oh. a difficult though uh okay. fingerprints have been changed within let's say i want to say the last year still time's weird but uh fingerprints are just a bit harder to get on bookcases than they were historically and both these players uh existed as players uh before that change gosh it feels so I, my heart goes out to para it feels like this game like there's so many good ideas that um the game is just not letting us take <laughs> i really um, like that path. <laughs> yeah that was very fun uh we had the option just a moment ago to to flirt and inspect um and yeah see where that got okay. us I uh, we do have a fun. bailout here by the yeah. way now every single statue in the map has a fingerprint uh, but this one uh, definitely solved our problem. We know it has a fingerprint. It was just picked up. And it time. will also be our inspects. No banana bread does make this shot a bit hard in Yosh, but this should be a shot in Paratroopa. If you have the count, there is no reason to not be taking this shot. Yosh, here in the overtime especially, there's no one else to shoot. Uh, Ambassador's been fairly safe the last 10 seconds. And uh, there's no like list being gone that you have to watch for, so... Yeah. Uh, good choice there. I did not realize we were so low on time though. Yeah, and what's rough about that too is that um you know from from sniper perspective, I feel like you you still might contact uh credit that contact anyway. Like it might be it might be hard to have known like oh yeah, they were definitely out like at the moment of the contact. Um, um so even thing, if you're not on the prince, you know. One thing I think would have been nice though, Parrot would definitely wouldn't have known this before the set started. If we had swap, we would have had so many more options. Um, where we wouldn't have had to complete inspect, we could have just sidestepped over, uh, or just revisited that statue later, uh, for the second fingerprint into the swap. Um, not that the swap is ever really a mission that you want to be doing, it's usually just situationally kind of forced upon you. Um, but instead, we ended up in an overtime situation for the same reasons, right? We just had to go to the statue, there was no other way we were finishing, and it didn't really feel like a civilian shot was coming off, uh, at the end of this game, so I yeah, think it was the right have... choice for Paratroopa, but it's just such a such a tough uh, spot for the spy and an easy spot for the sniper. Yeah, overtime overtime is is always rough. I feel like avoiding overtime as much as possible is definitely the way to go. But yeah, Yo, but here we are. Uh, <laughs> I'm called to come back. Uh, now uh, it is five two. Yo still needs to be getting wins here if they want to get any sort of result. And we have swap off microfilm on again in three, two, one, playing it. Yeah, and interestingly, uh per line off and fingerprint on. I feel like I feel like those two missions are often the ones that players are debating which one they'd prefer to have. And uh Yosh deciding he'd rather rather have the prince. So Yeah, so like Prince is the more powerful mission, right? Like if you can get a prince uh, mission completed and the sniper is not fully aware of it you often just win the game as a result of that play uh, Purloin however is much more flexible uh, we see when Purloin is on a lot of games where a Purloin comes off in say the last 45 seconds and often the spy dies but sometimes they don't and just they win the game on the spot either due to a civilian shot or it being their last mission um, I think you prefer uh, to start the game with fingerprints, but you really often wish that you had Purloin uh, by the end of the game, because otherwise you're just left with a uh, bug as your uh, your panic mission. Uh, it's another reason why I think swap is more interesting than microfilm, because it gives you something that you can panic finish, like what I was saying with Paratroopa, compared to microfilm, which is another mission that just takes a lot of preparation or a lot of time to do. Yeah, so I think... Yeah, it's interesting all the all the trade offs you can consider. Um, in this situation, then I guess kind of kind of bouncing off that, then um, Yash has driven himself into a place another, where um, another uh, uh, double agent leaving. 
Uh, it could have covered for Purloin, but again, Purloin isn't on, so we're just sadly taking a drink. Uh, the drink take might just be a sign that we are not expecting to finish in this set, or sorry, yeah. in this game, um, because it's kind of uh, detrimental to everything else that we want to do, be it microfilm or fingerprint, or potentially bug. Yeah. I was gonna say unless unless we're getting a print early or we're getting some progress early, we yeah we don't have very many outs. Like if if we need the last mission in the last thirty seconds, like we've got center inspects and bugs. <laughs> and yeah, so I mean, it's civilian really rough. Yeah. Not right. If a civilian goes to middle statutes here in the last thirty seconds, uh, and we've done a fake banana bread, though I don't think anybody we has credit for banana bread, uh, then they might still get shot. But the problem is you can't force that. There's nothing that we can do, at least with this state of spy party. Uh, to make someone go to middle statues. Uh, Purloin, as a mission, you can green Purloin, you can force someone to take the, the list. Um, at least, oh. say, half the time, whatever whatever your green test rate is. But the... Uh, the yeah, we're, in a, we're, in a, we're in a very rough spot. We really need that mm. green, uh, um, green flirt, but we got a white. We did get our banana bread, thankfully. Um, the shot's SK not coming was out, in. the paratroop is showing page. Ooh. No, 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 there they weren't. Uh, I assume that's a fingerprintable book. Well, no, I think it, I think it's probably bug credit. Like, check check out, oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. from from conversation next to Amber like that. It looks like, um, you know, BB split bug. Which would be a play that would totally make sense in the context. And I see that arm. He was doing his little walking animation um, with his arms. And it did really look like it could have been a bug. Yeah. Um, even if it wasn't the animation per se, even if just off the path and just looking a bit weird, um, it could also, with that sort of angle, potentially have been a wrong arm bug. Uh, it's just, yeah, a really unfortunate spot for the sniper to be put in, and precisely yeah. what uh, Yosh needed, given that they uh, had some really bad fortune at the beginning of that game uh, to not be able to complete missions, yeah. and having Try purloin off and swap off, meaning that they really the only options they had were to do precisely what Smallman was credited for, a late bug. Yeah. Very tragic for Para for something like that to happen in the last 30 seconds. <laughs> we use the word <laughs> tragic quite a lot, and it's a large part of what happens in the last 30 seconds of Spy Party, right? It's just... It is. Uh, one thing is all that matters, and it's often just one thing that pure randomness, the power of the AI uh, does, that really just throws someone for a loop. Often the sniper, but we've also seen AI leave a lot of conversations right as we start banana breads today. So, welcome to Spy Party, uh, at least at a competitive <laughs> level. Uh, we're on to Modern. We are on the Modern, and we got another uh, general game. It's always yeah, good. Yeah, but look at the seduction target. Not even Queen. Ah. Two, two out of ten would not date Disney. Uh, in three, With those two, hands. one. <laughs> 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 Grash, uh, personal question: Do you want to love her with small hands or big hands? Wow, that is uh, that is an exceptionally personal question. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, one big know. hand, one small hand, like a crab. Yeah, yeah then, then you got all the benefits. Like, I mean, <laughs> sure, the hands are asymmetric, but you know, you can you can hold a lot of things with big hands, but then small hands, you know, they can get into get into. Um, you know, smaller areas or like like get into like jars and stuff. Um, oh, yeah, for sure. And yeah, you never know when you might need that. So, um, on that note, General does not have small hands himself, but the uh, no. the way his uh, his bugs work, it's the power of the arm. Uh, his walking bugs are really good. His standing bugs are kind of choppy. Uh, General's animations can be pretty weird looking um, at times, both his animations to do missions and also just his idle animations. Um, Compared to some characters, like I'm seeing Orange Sari's on our screen for our spy, her animations are all very smooth. Um, just everything she does, be it like a bug or just her talking, um, flow really well, and you don't like get your eye dragged towards her like you do General. That's an animation break, but uh, we got places to be here after the flirt. We have no other mission, and I think this is a, a good decision. It may also have been a purloin frame if we immediately take here. It's because someone else talked. Yeah, it'd be interesting. It, it's kind of a risky play, right, to to purloin frame this early, um, if that's what we're thinking about. Which we don't. We delegate, which I think I think is 
uh, a more standard play. That's where it is. The reason we broke the animation yeah. was a conscious decision to get to the bar before anybody else stole the fingerprint. Uh, we did not get the print because it was still difficult. Mm. And we got the highlight the uh, without Pearls getting a highlight. Um, it oh. feels like Yosh is either not highlighting everybody at bar or uh, is particularly suspicious about uh, general and our print chances, which I think is fair. This is a very quick revisit. If Yosh uh, recalls, uh, this should get us a bit more suspicion than we already had. <laughs> Um, because it's very unlikely for an AI to have finished three sips before returning to the bar. AI do not have the ability to gulp, except in some very case situations. Yeah, the, the print line goes off. Um, what's Yash going to do? I wonder I wonder if it's been truly noticed yet. Yeah, so the, us being at the bar when the print line goes off feels a bit weird, right? Like, why would the spy go back to the bar? They don't need to go back to the bar. This is a potential bug path. And we're general, mm -hmm. like, you just take these. Yeah. Well, shock him off definitely enough. wants to, but again, I think, uh, not willing. And we've seen a lot of uh, snipers just be a bit hesitant. I think it might be the reason why Sonolator didn't end up uh, getting a result from their match, too. These spies, with these low mission counts and very friendly spy, uh, spy setups, are getting a lot of suspicion it feels like based on the way the lasers are though he was also watching for things like inspect and swap um and just the snipers are just not willing to trust their instincts is my read on the games today yeah i think it can be tough when uh yeah maybe maybe yash question just like oh man who who was it the purloined um and para managed to get the last flirt there at the bar so um you know, getting that bug, and I, I feel like it's it's just always so nice to to put a lot of pressure on the spy and say, you know, if you suspect this, you got ten seconds and um, uh, to shoot before before it's too late, and and Yasha unfortunately doesn't get it. So yeah, and it's just a really nice uh, game from Paratrooper. but really uh, I think educational for anybody um, who is trying to figure out what a good spy game looks like. He went for the difficult fingerprint. Which, given the situation, I think was a great thing to do with 2.30 on the clock. And then realizing that they didn't have any mission completion after that, went and made a play. They did the banana bread into Purloin, which isn't a particularly clever play. It's a very common play on Modern, but it's common because of its power. Yeah. Um, and then they did a bug with General, who has one of the best bugs in the game, if not the best. So, uh, nothing like too out there uh, for Paratroopa. But it's common. These are games that snipers know exist because the spies win a lot of these games. Just a really <laughs> solid game there from Paratrooper all the way around. Yeah, very nice. And so Para secures the tie. Um, it's up to to Yash to keep keep the tie dream alive. Yash with pearls. Is on with pearls on Modern. Uh, yeah. in three, two, one, planet. I, I think say we're thinking the same thing. This is very the, dangerous because of, of the speed. Pearls yeah. Is just so slow and this map is so big like if you want to go hang out as pearls where generals head off to now just the right uh, part past the chairs at the window it takes you a minute to do that trip to get there stand there for a few seconds and head back um, if you do see a pearls who shouldn't already be picked on this map anyways very often um, head out there like it's a free low light like that person, even if they are the spy, isn't completing missions. They're just wasting too much time. Yeah. Thankfully, uh, thankfully, Yash getting started and, and getting our flirt. Ooh, it's in a green. And it's a green. We we like that. Ambassador was in a buggable position, and the nice thing about it would have been that we have a drink in hand, so we'd either get the wrong arm bug or it just wouldn't wouldn't land. Um, you wouldn't see simply because you mechanically can't a bad bug where the arm comes through uh, the ambassador's body. Um, opportunity is gone though. It looks like we're potentially just timer floating, which as pearls is probably better than usual, simply because uh, you don't want to be chasing them later. I guess we actually decided to go for this case. It is, it is difficult. difficult though. Walking difficult greens <gasps> are difficult to do and no play on words really intended. 
Return's awful, by the way. You should be more behind the ambassador, but... Uh, we got it, though. We got the difficult. Yeah, we got the difficult, and it doesn't look like we've picked up any particular, at least, highlight for it. Um, the problem with difficult uh, briefcases, by the way, is simply the sniper often doesn't know if they're difficult or not. Yeah, yeah. Um, we unfortunately are not Doppler. We're not hitting every single green in the world. Uh, we did hit the important one, but... Uh, this is potentially going to come back to bite us that so we didn't finish our flirt here now because it gives us one more task that we have to do to be completing missions and we still have a lot to do despite the difficult print uh we yeah. need to go to this bar uh yosh realizing that too good job yosh yeah i wonder if we should demand on it oh gosh oh no oh no this is actually a really good sell i like i like yeah. the, the no sell of just standing uh... there uh paratroopa uh still taking the Still highlight noticed. for it, which is, I mean, yeah. the correct thing to do. Uh, but it really, like, panicking there is definitely not the right choice. Yeah. Um, especially given that the sniper was clearly on it. Yeah. I think playing it off as a give up, like like you said, like, waiting there and then moving is 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 probably better, but still a sad situation. I mean, the, the, the best thing to do is immediately realize that you've been put in a spot and just bounce out of just it. Just redirect, but, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, the best, best thing is obviously just don't ever be in that spot in the first place. But um, I don't hate the reaction that Yosh had to. I think it's a uh, not necessarily the most natural reaction, but I think it's one that like is adds a question mark to the snipers. Like that felt yeah. really weird. Really weird. Feels like yeah, the AI. Yeah. Now we're in trouble. The the DA had been in this conversation, but split relatively quickly after we joined. Um, we can get another print from, from Red very soon, but yeah, we still need two more missions. We need Mom to come to one of these two conversations. We're going to try to bug? That makes sense. Or, yeah, here we go. We can also do this bug into... Uh, 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 yeah, bug into print into... Uh, uh, lost the race, too. This will be difficult now. Uh, uh, so rough. We uh, have great ideas that just three of them failed it back to back it's just not fair yeah uh, this book There's... take out is just a surrender uh really yeah. hoping for a civilian shot when you do the banana bread to force it banana bread. and it's not going to be early enough with eight seconds yeah. left on the clock we can unfortunately it yeah oh no i want to use the t word again but uh <laughs> it's I'll, it is I'll tragic now, this, this yeah. one's particularly tragic right so uh my my plan there was actually precisely what happened uh the DA came to our conversation. If you do a banana bread, split out, get the book, get the difficult print because Disney still would have been there, and then stepped over to the blue bookcase. Yeah, uh, just you direct could quickly finish yeah. three missions, and all three of them would have been um, just kind of quick, even if you're like top suspect because of the uh, the pathing break. Uh, the other option, obviously, was what Yosh went for, which is the bug into book bookcase and print, um, but I mean, it was shown, right? The bug is not as easy as one might think, uh, simply because the ambassador is very liable to move. And we're seeing a lot of the issues with pearls, right? Like, if you were uh, able to get that bookcase two seconds faster, uh, that bug is no longer a really awkward walking bug. It is a <laughs> not particularly pretty, but acceptable uh, just drive-by bug. Yeah. I think I think pearls' is advantages um you know that are there right you, you do have a good bug and maybe have you know garner a bit less suspicion because of how slow you are on, on a big map like modern but um unfortunately too many things add up um you know seeing our uh our miss pad at the bar and then just just having every, everything kind of working against us time wise so para will take the set uh but we still got two games of uh terrace to see yeah, and I'm enjoying this set uh, long enough. I'll stick around for him. Let's uh, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, we've got Paratroopa now on Victory Lap, and it's well known uh, if you're in a Victory Lap, Smallman is by far the most fun character to play. <laughs> uh, so let's do it in three, two, one, playing it. Uh, we saw this in our last set in game twelve. This is now game eleven, but it's the same thing. It's the first of the winning uh, winning players spy picks and they've also gone small one yeah uh, i'm it's wondering 
the, oh, the last small moon game we saw in Terrace was so good, right? Like, the uh, yeah. bug just had a lot of cover. Not that small moon's bug, if you're watching, is particularly great, but he's small. Uh, I think we but... might see even more shenanigans here. Yeah. Being small, it's got, you know, it can be very helpful. And I guess this is another good reason to have small hands, so. Are small men's hands small, or are they, like, reasonable size for his stature? They, they might be reasonably sized. I mean, they're, they're clearly smaller than Disney's hands. You, know, you can see well, them yeah, both big, right big, now. Big hands over here is big <laughs> hands. That's why it's called big hands. <laughs> you know... Somebody in chat said uh, big hands means uh, big hugs, and I have to agree with that. I think I think big hands is definitely the way to go uh, for you know for looking for your your partner. Who, who do you think gives the best hugs, and why is it Taft? Uh, I mean, he's got he's got great hands first, big 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 hands, right? And then uh, yeah, and he can just he can just block out all the bad feelings, right? Just like he can block statue swaps. Um, and so you know, obviously. The hugs are are superior. Which which Ooh. character do you think um, fulfills like the aunt role best? Like you you see them like once every three years, and you just get like a really loving uh, hug and a kiss on the cheek from. And it, to be clear, it doesn't have to be a particular gender. Oh, I mean, hmm. Okay. Uh, well, at first I was thinking Rocker, but then at, at the the last bit there, just, I don't know if that's her. Um, the answer is Gills, by the way. You know that that man's going to pull you in because, I mean, he's a oh, yeah. chair, he kind of has to. That's or, true. Or uh, he really, like, leans out of his chair to, to grab you and give you a big smothering hug, for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, a good point by Yosh in the chat. They're general, also, if you just don't see him because he's been in the war. Uh, Perlin, by the way, to Ooh. a low light is always a double-edged yeah. sword, right? Because mm -hmm, if they mm -hmm. catch it, they're not going to shoot boots. Uh, but they might not catch it simply because it's a low light. Um, I think we've been at the bar recent enough. This shouldn't time out, even with ambassadors shenanigans of uh, doing a double bar visit. Yeah, I feel like there's interesting plays you can do with your purloin, um, like you trying to purloin. To... Yeah, here comes the expire. So now we are likely to take this bug. Uh, it is very much uh, not a dancing bug. It's yep. just a bug, and Yosh does take the W here. Uh, I think I would have preferred as a walking bug over the standing yeah. bug. Um, like yeah, just walk towards a... windows, but yeah. uh, really, I mean, the big thing is just you need to get the delegate off just slightly earlier, and I don't think you really would have known that, right? The ambassador did the stutter step garbage. Yeah, there's a big hole in the conversation circle, unfortunately, where the where the sniper could see us and our our arm and the snapback. Um, but yeah, I think I think it's it's just it's tricksy, um, kind of getting the balance right between. <laughs> you're just, I mean, you're, it's tragic. It's tragic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean the bug's the only option. Right? Like the other option was swap, and it's like no, no, don't do it. Yeah. Um, yeah, and as a sniper, I mean, good job to Yosh for being onto it, but you've got to be onto late bugs. Yeah. It just happened no matter what yeah. what game you're yeah. looking at. I think it's always tough with uh you know with your delegate purloin you know you want to send it as late as possible to hopefully let the sniper forget or, or feel like it has expired like crediting it with the expire um yeah and so well, i feel well, like we'll, from... say, we'll say it from chat by the way a uh, chat's asking uh, why did it expire it's a 60 second window and in this particular case it was done with enough time if uh where the delegate was actually really well timed but what ended up happening in this particular game is the ambassador went from bar rejecting a drink to bar immediately and jumped mm -hmm. back in line, uh, meaning that there was another 10 seconds that the waiter was uh, occupied. And those extra 10 seconds really was the difference of this particular game. Again, just tragic AI shenanigans. Yeah, and Boots, uh, Boots had a drink already, so she couldn't request until she finished sipping. Right away. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not that that's when you ever have control over except it's for just, you, if know, you yeah. literally stutter step for it but yep yeah. uh welcome to just the minutia of uh this uh, game at a competitive level yosh taking a good uh shot here can also redeem themselves as spy in three two one planet 
Oh. Ooh. Good. Unfortunately, we're in our in our statue pickup animation, and we can't flirt. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, I think uh, if we taken control right there, maybe we, we can just let Smallman beat us to the pickup. Uh, but again, it would kind of be awkward. Def definitely not a legal thing an AI would do. Um, inspect is always interesting with these three of seven setups because we can inspect swap. Like we could end the game in 15 seconds from now. We could also do banana bread into a walking bug into the statues is also a natural path. Uh, yeah. The neutral light, I think the reason simply being that we're trying to track uh, drinks with the yes. the highlights. Yeah, I agree. Pair is uh, pair just switched to bar lights. Yep. Yeah, and this is uh, I mean this is post uh, set right. We saw in the game from Sauna later, uh, they just did a full rush. Master walking behind us, but if you take this bug, you're very much trusting the sniper to not be paying attention. Um, just because it's so out in the front. I'm also surprised we haven't taken the Bennett bread since, given that everybody's in conversation except for the ambassador. Yeah, maybe hoping that it'll it'll get a little bit nicer. I, I think it'd be reasonable to take now and just, just let Duke off, but... Mm. Really committing to the timer flirt, and now the double agent's left. Yeah. Uh, we'll see if that we regret that later. Yeah, I guess we'll see. I think the other the other unfortunate thing, um, you know, if we had tried to do a drive by bug earlier, is that we were we were behind Twin, whereas if we had been in front of him, our arm would have gone, you know, inside of him, might have looked a little better. But yeah, just to follow up on the double agent uh, thing, if you're in that situation and you're in the conversation that it would be considered a fake, you're still probably taking that banana bread just to give people credit. Uh, while everybody's in conversation so that it didn't happen at all is very weird and yep. other than the uh, nice benefit of it puts the sniper um in a bit of an awkward spot i don't i don't think it's a good choice if the conversation's a full on terrace you should almost always be just taking the banana bread even if you already have the banana bread completed yeah you could consider like uh not taking it and hoping to make it look more suspicious for the one or two characters that aren't in so i you know duke wasn't we in have... there and but yeah, bug, I don't have much time uh, left. Banana bread Banana into bread. bug into flirt here is a very natural line. Um, if we don't take it soon, we're gonna be in overtime though. Yeah, we're. We can finish this. We don't have to surrender this game, Yosh. I would appreciate the effort. Mm. <laughs> he gives the ambassador a <laughs> wide berth and then doesn't. <laughs> Yosh! <laughs> 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 oh, oh, that's too bad. I mean, it seemed like it seemed like inev inevitable. You know, if we were going for that path that late, I think paratrooper was gonna gonna yeah, see but it. You, but you, you can use the banana bread as a bit of cover. Um, the other option is we already had an inspect in pocket too. Yeah. Um, it's just it's just a bit of a passive play to not mission complete here. Um, obviously we saw an exactly the same sort of thing last last game where paratrooper just got shot for it, but I'm not really sure which AI you think is going to die uh, here in the last 10 seconds if you're not just completing the missions. And I thought the line was fairly, like we were looking at it. We could see the ambassador, we could see the flirt, uh, but Yosh just not uh, willing, I think, at this point to, to take it for whatever reason. Yeah, but in any case, um, a good hold from Para and, and Para... Um, takes the set, 8 to 4. Yep. Uh, I mean, from Yosh, there's a lot of uh, really promising things, which we say every damn time we've ever casted Yosh, so at some point he'll play more and actually just uh, clean up his game. But Believe in yourself. Yeah, I mean, really, this, is, this last game is precisely the sort of thing anybody has a thousand games and that's more or less where Yosh is despite his veteran status he just hasn't played that much this is the sort of game that you're losing percentage points right like you won't get away with this very often if you do the bug into flirt or if you do the bug into statues or whatever whatever you choose to do but it's still definitely higher percentage than just letting it time out um making these choices and just being playing enough playing more games so you've seen this sort of situation before
because end game situations you don't reach mm -hmm. them most of the time, right? Um, you'd probably still get shot. Para is a good player, even if it's a cane bug, it's still gonna be uh something that gets you shot most of the time. But uh, just finding ways to get a few more wins because that's really all it comes down to, right? We lost eight four. You win this, you shoot someone else, you get a tie. Like, and every we had half of these games were incredibly close, right? We were saying yeah. the lasers like clearly wanted to take the shot, uh, both directions. But uh, obviously, we'll say it to Yosh because Yosh is the one who lost. Uh, to Para, <laughs> I think if they play this well against uh, the rest of the group, they have a decent chance of getting out. Obviously, getting the W here is good. Um, it's just. Uh, just continue making the good choices that you're making and don't make bad choices and you win lots of games. Uh, that's not actually advice. It's just general fake wisdom. No, I think I think that is very wise. Uh, so thank you. Thank you, phone noob. And um... <laughs> just make good choices. Don't make bad choices. Win games. Yeah, obviously. Easy. Easy game. Um, but congratulations to Paratroopa. Um, and thank you to everybody for joining us for this cast of the Summer Cup. Um, we will continue to be doing... Um, regular casts so stay tuned to uh to see more games in the group stages here um and beyond and yeah excellent games from our players thank you mm -hmm. all right uh, to note uh grash uh have we casted before because this was a pleasure and we should do it more for sure i don't think we have so happy to happy to do more another time pwned and thank you Kletos, for hosting yeah no absolutely. problem absolutely and, and just you know the some of the information up here is maybe slightly outdated uh this most of these overlays were from uh, two years ago, and uh, you know, <laughs> don't go to it, Kratos. Yeah. Uh, that being said, I don't think they're that far off. We are going to be yeah. doing a cast on Saturdays and a cast on Sundays, and they are going to be at these sort of midday times yeah. that are friendly. Uh, for or at least attempted to be friendly for both our EU and NA audiences. If you're in Australia, sorry. Um, and uh, yeah. With that being said, um, I mean, tech, yeah. I mean, to be fair, in Australia, it's not summer anyway. The information there, no, so. it's fair. The information <laughs> at the bottom is still correct. If you guys are jumping in and you're not already playing Spy Party, uh, definitely feel free to join us. You can either get it in Steam or at uh, spyparty.com. Um, if you are playing Spy Party but just want to get more into the competitive scene, uh, definitely hit us up at the Discord. It's on your screen, but I'll say it out loud. It's discord.gg slash spyparty. Uh, it's an incredibly friendly, incredibly helpful community. Um, and for things like looking for games and stuff, too, it's also useful for that. Uh, again, this has been a pleasure, uh, Grash. We got plenty more games that we could potentially cast in the future. And I hope to our chatters that we see you there. Thank yep. you. See y'all <laughs> later. Goodbye. Bye, everybody.